Hey folks, this is my Drevo Blade Master Pro. Now, some of you old timers on the channel might remember that I first looked at the TE version of this keyboard three years ago this week, and then I followed it up about six months later with the Pro version. And since then, it's been my daily driver, and well, it's been practically flawless. And that's even extended to the last 18 months, where it's not only been hooked up to my main gaming PC, but also in daily use with my works PC while I've been working from home, thanks to a handy little KVM switch. A rough estimate would probably put the use at well over 5,000 hours since first testing it out, and while functionally it is as tight and it feels as good as the day I first opened it up, when I went to give it a clean last month, I couldn't help but feel that it was looking a little bit worn. Shiny keys after years of use being the key offender. Thankfully, this time around, I've came prepared. Now, the Drivel Blade Master Pro it uses Cherry MX switches, and key sets are widely available online in various shapes, sizes, and styles for these particular MX switches and also their compatible cross shaped brethren. So, I've decided to take a U turn with the looks of this keyboard. And because the name Pudding Caps kind of made me chuckle when I seen them on Amazon, link down below, we've got a new full set of white PBT Pudding Caps from a company called Hewison, who, from this company here. Now this is not a review by any stretch of the imagination, I mean these caps, they cost 20 quid, and they are simply replacement caps, there's nothing much to review here. But no, I wanted this video to maybe talk about something that's been on my mind a bit recently. With the current state of the PC components market, it could be a really good time for everybody just to take stock at what they're currently using. Those items that you use every single day and you're already extracting the maximum amount of value out of them, like my keyboard here. And instead of looking for the latest and greatest thing that you're probably not going to get at a reasonable price, how about just taking some time to look at your rig as it stands just now and give it some much needed TLC. So that's exactly what we're doing today, cleaning up this keyboard and replacing the normal black caps with these new pudding caps. Now overall the whole process took about 15 minutes and I would say the end result looks really good. Now the pudding caps get their name from, I guess, making your keys look like they're floating on a bed of RGB pudding. And the change in aesthetics I think is really nice. These particular pudding caps, they've got a nice diffuse glow about them and it really does help the RGB elements on the keyboard pop. Like I say, it's a great way to breathe some life into your favourite hardware while you wait for that ever elusive GPU to come back in stock at a non-ludicrous price. I will say though with these caps, things to watch out for is that they come in a one size fits all box and that means you get keycaps for a full keyboard plus number pad, but they are in US formatted. Now the box does include ISO modifiers which means that everything will fit on a UK keyboard, but as you'll notice from some of the keys, some of the functions are obviously different between the US and UK layouts. So it's just something to bear in mind. It's completely usable though, and if like me you've built up enough muscle memory to where everything you need is just at your fingertips without looking, then it'll serve you well. So that's about it. If you want your keys to be floating on a bed of RGB, then it's a pretty easy and a pretty cool little modification you can do. The keys themselves feel really nice to touch, and the high quality PBT plastic looks like it'll be fairly durable too. I kind of get the feeling that it looks like an old school mechanical keyboard when the lights are off. That nice light keycaps on a metal background. But then it starts a wild party as soon as you power it up. And the RGB begins to flow. Like I said, this is in no way shape or form a review. I just wanted to show you something. It could be a good little stocking filler for you. Or if you've got an itch to buy something, while you wait on the more important components coming back into stock. So hey, if you're looking for something, anything PC related, to tide you over until we get back to the good old days when components come out at a reasonable price, then in my opinion you could do it a lot worse than taking what you have and making it feel just that little bit more special. But hey, I'm going to leave it there for today folks. What do you guys think of pudding caps? I'd never really thought about it before until I seen them on Amazon, but I can take a guess that the look is going to be quite divisive in the comment section. We'll leave it there for today though, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the comments section down below, and in the next video.